Okay, looks like we've got a visit from Benjamin. Morning, Patch. I've found something to give you for the other day. It was nice of you bringing me that old book. Well, it ain't much, but I think Hunter's long grown out of it. He's more interested in axes and lock, lock ball these days. Got a wooden horse. Take care, farmer. I hope you find someone who likes it as much as my nephew did. So welcome back, guys, to another episode of World's Dawn. We've just got started here, and we've got a visit from Benjamin, who uh, came to give us the next item in Noah's trading game. Uh, and a wooden toy horse. I'm going to have to guess that that's got to go to Bloom, right? Um, Bloom's the only kid that I can think of so um, when I when I run into Bloom next I'll uh, I'll try giving it to him and see if he wants it uh, but in the meantime I'm just going to do some chores here and I'll come back with you guys when we're doing something interesting alright let's try feeding this cat again have a tuna stray cat is content we'll get that cat guys don't worry we are gonna get a pet cat Good den, sirrah. Look, guys, we've got another sage glop. What's his question going to be? The town square taketh its, taketh its name from which flower? Uh, it's the primrose square, isn't it? Early so. Five juicy bait. Thank you, sir. <sighs> Open your eyes once again. It's behind you. <laughs> it is I, Ivana. Do you remember my promise, young friend? I tasked you with displaying generosity through your donations. A generous soul is someone who places the needs of his neighbours before his own. Someone who understands himself to be one piece of a larger community and who is willing to share the fruits of his labour. When you are charitable with your own time and efforts, you will notice a change in the world around you. Grass will feel softer be beneath your toes. Water will flow more clearly and crisply in the streams. This is what I can offer you, young friend, to show you the importance of your gifts. A kinder village, a warmer village, bursting with the spirit of generosity. My magic and my gratitude are yours. When you stand on the eve of a new world's dawn, and my sister Chloe resolves that your efforts have been enough, I shall stand beside you. Farewell, Patch, until that dawn breaks. Awesome. So we guaranteed the help of the Feral Shade of Generosity. Nirvana. Nice. So that's cool. That means there's only now... We've got to meet three more and get the help of uh, four more. So, oh, looks like Paxel's coming to pay us a visit. Good morning, Patch. I came by to bid you a fond farewell as I'm leaving town today. Make sure you keep working hard on this old farm while I'm gone. I want to see a lot of progress when I return to Sugar Blossom. And remember, your quest for the Feral Shades. The more you uncover the mysteries they keep, the better off this village will be. Take care of yourself, Patch. I'll see you in a few short weeks. Bye, Paxel. Alright, I'm going to keep going. I'll come back with you guys when there's something more interesting happening. Look at this guys, our melons have grown. We've got a whole patch worth of melons here. And I'm going to replace them all with melons. Okay, I've just come into the hospital here and there's a letter lying on the bed that we can read. So let's take a look at that. Dear Dr. Liam, I am sorry for coming to your clinic yesterday and telling you I was feeling sick. I was actually feeling fine. I just really wanted a piece of chocolate and you always give me one after a checkup. I shouldn't... I should have been honest, and I don't want you to worry about me anymore. My mother did not force me to write this apology letter, just in case you were wondering. Bloom. <laughs> oh no, Bloom. <laughs> oh, I just heard my ocarina go off here. Which one have we got? Is there one who play those? Uh, brain. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a charm fairy called Brain. Excellent. 
Who are you going to go to, Brain? Alexander, Marianne, or Bali? Um, Alexander, I think, is my best chair. Oh, no. No, I'm not even friends with him very well. Um, I'm not really friends with any of these. Um, probably Alexander's the, the best. Uh, I hardly ever see Marianne or Bali. I have just spotted Bloom over in the field here. So we're going to try giving him the wooden horse. Uh, where is it? Down here? Wooden horse. You want? You want? Bloom. Stop. Bloom. Cool horse, Patch. That would be the perfect steed for some of my action figures. Yeah. You can have it. Wow, really? I'll take good care of it. And don't worry, I'll find something super cool to pay you back soon. Awesome. So we solved that one fairly easily. Uh, so we'll just have to wait a few days now, I think, for Bloom to come back and uh, give us the next step in Noah's trading game. Alright, I'm just making my way over to Honey Brave Pasture here because I have a little bit of extra cash lying around and I want to buy another animal. And I'm thinking maybe another chicken because uh, Chuckles is now laying two eggs every day and the eggs sell for a decent amount. Uh, and the chickens are fairly low maintenance. You just drop food in the trough for all of them and you're good to go. So I'm going to buy another chicken here, I think. Honey. I'd like to buy an animal. I want a chicken. Yes. And, uh... Hmm. Uh, well, we have Chuckles the chicken already. So... Now we have Giggles and Chuckles. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. So we now have two chickens, guys. That's awesome. Alright, guys. So today is the Summer Markets down at uh, Primrose Plaza. So we're going to... Oh, we've got a visit from Annabelle. Good morning, Patch. I... I'm sorry to disturb you so early, but I have something I feel I need to say to you. Oh, look at her! She's so... Embarrassed and blushing. <laughs> I I think I'm falling for you. I feel the same way. <laughs> you do? You just made me the happiest girl on the planet. What an exhilarating feeling. I almost can't believe it. Okay, Anna, focus. I brought you something this morning, just as a little gift. It's one of my very favourite desserts. She gave us an apple tea cake. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, okay, Patch? I hope no one thinks I've lost it on my way home, because I'm pretty positive I'll be singing and skipping the whole way there. <laughs> well, that's awesome. It seems like we might now be officially dating Annabelle, so that's brilliant. And she gave us an apple tea cake, which I can give straight back to her, so that's cool too. Alright, I'm going to do some chores and I'll come back with you guys when we go down to check out the markets. Take the fish, eat the fish, love the fish. Alright, here we are in Primrose Plaza where the summer markets are on. Violet and Sparrow both brought goods. I'm considering buying a window planter from Violet. The outside of my house could use some sprucing up. <gasps> I can buy a window planter? I don't get involved in too many festivals, but I enjoy attending anyway. Seeing everyone so lively and happy to be together lifts up the spirits. I'll just put myself here. Hi. What a lovely day to gather as neighbours and share. As you grow older, you will learn to truly appreciate those close to you more and more. Ah, Patch, pleasant day to you. It is always a happy feeling to see you at Sugar Blossom Festivals and Markets. Huh? When Dimitri reminded me that today was a market day, I almost didn't believe him. Are we that deep into summer already? Yeah, tenth of summer, Seth. Keep up with it. Step right up to the most exciting market shop you've ever seen. We have all kinds of treats as well as goods to sell. Really? <laughs> Sorry, Patch. I don't actually have anything to sell. I just wanted to see what it felt like to be a shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, Bloom. <laughs> Happy Market Day. Benjamin stayed in the shop to get some projects done, but I've got no problem taking advantage of the day off. The 
the sounds of all the townsfolk buzzing around the plaza has sort of a melody to it, don't you think, Patch? Um... Bloom asked me if I get hot in the summertime, what with my big sweater and shaggy beard. He's got a point. Hmm, I could pull off the clean shaven look. Oh, could I pull off the clean shaven look, Patch? Why don't you just take the sweater off and keep the beard? Perhaps I'll set up a stall at the next market. I have all sorts of bits and bobs that have been piling up in the back storeroom. Alex often skips out on these market events, which gives me the whole day free of his corny jokes. Be a dear and don't tell him I said that. Not that it would make a lick of difference. I didn't bring any money today. Just here to mingle. Thank you very much. Thankfully, neither Violet or Sparrow are pushy salesman type. Cole and I decided to sit this market out and just enjoy the event. You can't be too worried about making money all the time, yeah? What have you got, Violet? Oh, geranium planter. Spider lily planter. Bellflower planter. Um... I think... Why not? Let's get a spider lily planter. Contain soft white flowers. Yes! Awesome! We just bought our first piece of decoration, guys. <laughs> My wonderful Anna arranged all of the window planters I'm selling today. Isn't she talented? She is. I told my mum she's embarrassing me by telling everyone that, but she doesn't seem to care. <laughs> I bought some pretty tasty recipes to share today. Come around to the other side of the stall if you're interested. <gasps> Are you going to teach me how to make chocolate cookies? Plain cake recipe. Chewy chocolate cookies recipe! Yes! I got a toaster oven from the uh, Home Shopping Network, which I forgot to pick up. So it's still at the post office, hopefully. Uh, do you have anything else there? Vegetable stuffing recipe? Vegetable stuffing recipe? Breakfast muffins. Toasted wrap? Hmm. We have we do have a bit of money. I might buy the toasted wrap as well. Yes, I'll buy that one. I'll take it. Now I have to remember to pick up my toaster oven. I think that's just about everyone here. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to go and do some chores. And I'll come back with you in a minute. Awaken with love in your heart. Again, again it's behind you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Freya, one of the five nature spirits who watch over this village. True love is my virtue. My sister Chloe told me of your spirit, a warm glowing flame that offers light to this village so many years after Noah did the same. Already you have stirred me from a deep slumber. I cannot ignore the music that even now bursts forth from your young heart. It's love, isn't it? And what beautiful music it is. If you are able to show such inspired passion for the sake of this town and its people, there is still hope to be found. But it is not that simple. Your love for Annabelle is still blossoming. You must continue to nurture it. Let it grow until you can no longer contain it, and the two of you become one in the timeless bond of marriage. Prove your true love through this task, and I will lend you my magic. Love true until we meet again. Cool. So we've met, encountered another a feral shade, which was unlocked by uh, beginning of day Annabelle. So that's cool. Uh, but I think I'm going to maybe wrap up this episode here, guys. I'm trying doing them a little bit shorter, uh, just so that uh, it's not quite so much for you guys to watch. Um, so I'm trying to keep them around 15 or 20 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, I just wanted to say again, thank you very much for watching. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and leave a like. Also, leave a comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.